What's up guys, today I wanted to show you a simple blackjack method, which is really low effort. It's really that low effort, you don't even have to touch your mouse. So, what you want to do is make sure you have a full inventory. When you have a full inventory, it makes sure if you fail your knockout, you can pickpocket him. Your pickpocket will fail because you don't have place for the uh, coin pouch. And then your stun will uh, disappear, but also he will stop attacking you. So this means you don't even miss that much ticks when you want to knock him out again. This is really nice, especially at lower levels, because you will fail more often and failing is just less punishing since you can stop your stun. Now, what you also want to do is make sure you have your screen markers ready right here. When you have your screen markers, in combination with your resizable client, you can make sure your menu will always be at the bottom of the screen like this. Also what you want to do is go to this exact house. Going to this house is better than going to this house because when you are in this house, the menus will sometimes stack. And what I mean by this is exactly this. When this happens, it will fuck up your screen markers and your mouse key distance. Now, this will make more sense later, but what you just want to take from this is always make sure you lure them to this spot, which I'll show you later. Also, you will need to set up mouse keys. I will simply link a description of, well, not get explaining these mouse keys because I don't really feel the need to do that again because it's pretty clear in his video. Now, now we have everything set up except for one thing. That is your single mouse button mode. You will definitely have to make sure this is on. Now, when we have everything set up, we can simply talk to the Manify Tuck. You can lure him also by doing this, but I find this way easier. Now, he will attack you. I put my Protect from Melee on, so he won't hit me, which will save me some lines. I'll retaliate off, and we simply try to walk on his position. And we will keep doing this till we switch positions. There's no way to manipulate this, but after a while, it will simply work. Now, when we walk here, it can't attack us. And this is really nice because when our health bar disappears, we can knock him out and he won't attack us after he wakes up. So you can also use this when you fail your knockout and instantly pickpocket so he will stop attacking you. If that fails, you can simply walk here and you can go through. Now, he is alert, so I can show you this again. Simply like this. Go like this, switch positions. Wait for your health bar to disappear, knock out, and we're in position again. Now, because we have resizable on, we can make sure our menus will always be in the same position. It doesn't matter if you click here or if you click here, the menu is in the same position. Now, because we have our mouse keys on, we can move our mouse like this. To make sure it does this, Put something on your control key or hold it down manually, whatever you prefer, because it moves like this if you don't have something on your control key, and it moves like this if you do have something on your control key, and we will want to make sure it moves like this. Now, because we have single mouse mode, mode, ena the mode enabled, we can do open the menu with only pressing our 5 button on our numpad. This is really nice for this method, because we knock him out, pickpocket him, and knock him out, pickpocket him. Now, we want to do this tick perfect. And to do this tick perfect, we will want to knock him out once, pickpocket twice, knock him out once. Now, to make sure this is, works neatly, look at your XP drops. Make sure those are on. And every time you see an XP drop, perform your next action. If you do this, it will always be tick perfect. Maybe from the beginning, this is hard to get the hang of, but if you get the hang of it, it's like you can literally watch a movie while doing this. I'm not touching my mouse at this moment. I'm not even looking at my screen if I want to, because your mouse will always be in a perfect position. Now, if you accidentally move your mouse, I'll just do it on purpose this time. You can simply put it in the box here again. This is why the screen marks are really handy. And we can continue. So if you fuck up, I probably won't fail that many times because uh, I'm a high thieving level, but if you fail your knockout, he will aggro you and you can simply instantly pickpocket him and the aggro will go away and you can instantly knock him out again. 
This can be hard to get the hang of, but it should be pretty easy once you get the hang of it. If you fail, which I can simulate like this, you simply walk here again, as I should, wait for your helper to disappear, and knock him out again. Well, good luck on this method. This will probably save some risks in the future. Good luck.